Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. Today, we are on the verge, one game away from knockout stages of the Europa League and also trying to open a bit of a gap up at the top of the Premier League as it's the 9th of November in game. Let's hope for some fireworks. Welcome to episode 43 of uh, Making Tottenham Hotspurs again. My name's Mark, and on today's episode, we have two games for you. A game away from home um, in Vienna against Rapid Vienna in the Europa League Group G. And then we're at home to Brighton in the Premier League. And uh, since you were last with us, we'll have a quick look. Uh, nothing has happened. Of course, we played Bournemouth and West Ham in the last episode. 4-1 win against Bournemouth. In the uh, Caribou Cup, the EFL Cup, fourth round, uh, got us through to the fifth round. And if you missed that draw, it's against Crystal Palace in the fifth round. So uh, fingers crossed we can get through to the semi finals. I'm not sure what the club vision is actually on uh, Caribou Cup. I think it's not really bothered. It is not really bothered. So uh, whatever we do with that. Um, and then. Uh, Obviously, a 4-0 win against uh, West Ham at the uh, the London Stadium, an all-London derby, of course, 60,000 in there to watch that one um, at the Olympic Stadium and uh, a crushing 4-0 win, uh, that one. Andre Silva continuing in his role as the uh, advanced playmaker in the attacking midfield role, central role. Um so they're the two matches today. Just a recap on the Premier League. Nothing really has happened since you were last with us. Um, there has been some matches. Wolves played Norwich and lost 1-0. Uh, Brighton played Newcastle, uh, now managed by Steven Gerrard, uh, and lost 2-0. Um, that was the last round of games there. Um, so as it stands, uh, 10 games played. Uh, we have 25 points. Uh, we are on goal difference in front of Manchester United uh, by virtue of that head-to-head -head game that we played. Chelsea in third, having played 11 games, so they, we've got a game in hand over them, uh, on 21 points. Arsenal then fourth uh, on 20 points, as are Southampton. Uh, just a bit of goal difference there. Everton on 19. And Leicester on 17. So Liverpool, at Liverpool, Manchester City, both outside the... Uh, the um, European places at the moment, uh, 16 and 15 points respectively. So at the moment, they are 9 and 10 points adrift of uh, the front runners here in the Premier League. Um, right, with that, quick uh, resume of the uh, Europa League. And uh, this is uh, after one round of games um, for everybody. Everybody's played everybody else. Uh, we're top of the table, nine points. I think there is a benefit of being top. It's something to do with the seeding in the draws. Um, so it keeps you away from the bigger teams in the first knockout stage, at least. Um, might even be the second stage, actually. Um, bearing in mind that the big boys come in, uh, the, the teams that drop out of the uh, Champions League, third and fourth place. I think it's just third place, isn't it? Um, drop out and then come into the Europa League. So some of those are dropped down into this competition as we go through to the knockout stages. But uh, I think there is an advantage of being uh, top of the group. Um, so we'll continue to try and be there. Uh, nine points top of the table. Young boys in second uh, on six points. Then come Rapid Vienna. Today's uh, opponents on three. And Sarajevo, all round of games for them. Three straight losses. Uh, only scored one goal. Uh, they have no points. So, no point. Uh, that's the games for today. We might as well get on with the episode and uh, we'll uh, fly to Vienna for our first game of the uh, episode. We have actually played them, just, just to say, we have actually played uh, Rapid Vienna previously in, um, I think it was the uh, Conference League second knockout round we played them. Um, beat them 5-0 at their place uh, and 4-1 at our place. We beat them 4-0 at our place this time out. 
So um, let's hope for a similar result as what we got from them last time uh, we, would, we were in Vienna. Um, just want to confirm. Actually, it's not what I wanted to do. Uh, facilities, that's where I wanted. Yeah, Vienna is where we are. Um, 28,000 ground. I think it's built the uh, stadium built in 2016. Okay, um, that's the team. Oh, so that's the team that we'll be playing. And uh, let's go and have a look at the team that will be playing Rapper Vienna. And in other news, uh, Sanchez, Davison Sanchez, he's uh, asked for a move away. He's not happy um, and he's looking to move away with the January um, window coming up. Um, it's likely that he will move on. We've basically said that we won't stand in his way. He's been with us for quite a few years. Um, doesn't get into the team regularly. He's more of a backup player, um, but he wants to uh, further his career as it's time's moving on. Um, so we've said that as provided we get a reasonable offer, he's valued at 29 million. So provided we get a reasonable offers for him in the January window, then we will look to move him on. So the team for today's game then is Castiles, Ingol, Regillian, Romero, Abamakano, and Mahale are a defensive line. Lakelso and Holzberg in that central midfield. Son Silva continues in that uh, um, advanced playmaker central midfield role. Uh, Kuman out on the right. Kane as a deep line forward seemed to do quite well up there as a deep line forward um, in the last couple of games. So that's where he's going to be today. Latula, Emerson Roll, Sewell, Dembele, Abraham, Lucas Mora, and Ali are all on the bench for this one. And Rapid Vienna, as you will see, have lost two of their last five. One, two, lost two, drawn one. And uh, we have five straight wins in our repertoire. And a recap of the table. Playing in our blue and gold strip today. Rapid Vienna playing in their home strip, a white and green affair. And we are underway. cut out there not quite sure what was going on i think uh caught me by surprise R romero to rigillian andre silva or well, lakelso silver quite deep and he's uh rummaging around push that out wide for kuman lovely ball by silver inside to lakelso tries to curl one in didn't quite get there on this occasion and uh just checking on the other results um, can't actually see what else is going on at the moment so nothing else major I don't think Arsenal playing Red Bull Salzburg later we have a free kick Holzberg who's picked up a yellow card also over and it's headed down but uh, referees questioning whether that's offside or not uh, VAR will look at it I think it's been given. Hodgeberg and Upper Meccano. I'm not quite sure what was wrong with that. The uh, defenders were questioning. No, he's definitely on side. And we go one up after 37 minutes. And Kuman is injured. That's not good. He's been uh, suffering from the old knock or two. Now he's actually got a thigh injury. Uh, we have a straight change for him. Tammy Abraham, of course, will come on. Bit of a shame because Kuman has done fantastic since he's been with us. But uh, that's bad news for our Premier League surge. Silva, Lacelso, Son, Romero seem to be relatively in control of this match. Kane. Lakelso, Son, tackled. Map of Vienna defending very well. And at the moment, don't look anything like the 5 0 they lost when we played them here last time out. Romero, Lakelso, Apamacano, 
Hodgeberg goes out wide. Abraham. Abraham, long ball, looking for Son. It's on Son's head, and Son fires that. Hits the post. I think he might have been offside, actually. And uh, half time comes. Um, 11 shots, three on target. Could have got a bit more on target. You know I like my 50%, 67% uh, of the possession, though, so it shows you how much on top of the game we are. They've had one shot currently, uh, and that wasn't on target. No changes made at half time that I'm aware of by either side. And Dijan Fitz has got a yellow card, which means we've got a free kick just inside the D. Le Kelso. And he's fired that over the top. Kane not having a good uh, good day. We're going to change him from a deep line forward. What else does he like to do? Being a nuisance, really, at the minute. He's uh, it's really not firing on all cylinders. Um, I'm just wondering whether Tammy Abraham might be better as uh, just a straightforward winger getting down on that byline. I'm just thinking of doing the same thing with Son. I know Son's better off as a... In fact, let's change Son to the inverted winger. Silver, he's playing okay in that middle bit again. Right, that's what we're doing for now. Confirm the changes, not going to make any personnel changes. Kane's coming down in... Uh... And uh, just that one goal. We're not really motoring at all today, are we? Would have really expected us to... Um... To really got cracked on here. We're not doing it right. Let's uh, let's have a look. Gonna go Tammy Abraham into that uh, attacking position. Make him a target forward, and then what we're gonna do is Kane's coming off for Lucas Mora. change and what we're also going to do really because I'd like to see us win this by a couple of goals is go attacking Regillian with a long throw to Silva back to Regillian Le Kelso on the edge of the area he's been tackled and the ball robbed off him but Hodgeberg just sort of ambles along and picks the ball back up again Regillian poor poor cross into the box but they've made a complete mess of that Gave the ball away, and Tammy Abraham said thank you very much. He was lurking just inside the six-yard six area. We'll see it again now. Hodgeberg went and picked this ball up. Regillian tried to make the cross. It was very non-ethical. And um, <laughs> the player playing it back to the goalkeeper, and Abraham was just lurking there. Madness. Suicidal. Whatever you want to call it, right? 80 odd minutes gone. Make that final change now. And uh, I think it's Le Kelso. Can change for Dembele. That's our final change. And will Pump Fist go out and make a difference? We're going to stay attacking because we can. We have a free kick. Hodgeberg with a free kick. And Silva is failed in the box. Hodgeberg runs forward. I think he's putting his name down to uh, take the penalty. And VAR is having a look at it. It is a penalty. Right. Hodgeberg, as I say, run up for that penalty when he decided he was taking it. And he's put it away in the back of the net. 
a very lackluster um, performance, really. We're not performed at our best, but uh, hey, they all count. And the full time comes. It is a 3 0 win over Rapid Vienna. Uh, 23 shots, uh, seven of which are on target, 3.39 on the XG. They had six shots and eventually had two on target, which was quite good. And we had 66% of the possession. I think we have pretty much qualified for the knockout stages. Let's have a look at the table. And here is the table and the other results. Uh, young boys of Bern beat Sarajevo by three goals to one in their uh, game so uh it's pretty much a done thing now uh rapid vienna could still qualify uh but uh, it's going to be extremely difficult they've got to turn it turn around and get a huge result against sarajevo in their uh in their game against them basically and then not get beaten by uh, young boys too well but if young boys uh win i think we play young boys next so uh, i think they're reliant on us uh beating young boys um, and then uh, if they can beat Sarajevo by a big margin, then it could well come down to the last game of that. And they'll be hoping that young boys uh, can't beat Sarajevo. Or do we play Sarajevo? Uh, no, they will play young boys, I think, in the final game of the uh, of the group. So um, that could be. If, if they can beat uh, young boys, then they could still qualify. So it's uh, it's wide open for that. I say wide open. It is open, but it's all down to this next match. They need to beat Sarajevo by a cricket score and hope that we beat Young Boys in the next match. Right, uh, Kingsley Kuman. He's going to be out for twelve days, two weeks uh, with the physio. Another one in the uh, medical centre, and alongside uh, Hernandez, he's out for two weeks. Bring Gill out for another 12 days. Albeit he's not, uh, he's unregistered. We're hoping to register him in January. I think we probably will. Um, if Sanchez has gone out, he may well uh, be a spot for him in the uh, in the team to uh, to play in uh, once we get to January. So fingers crossed he'll come back in to the squad. Right. Uh, without any more to do, um, we are going to first of all we're going to give everybody a day's rest. And then we're going to play Brighton in the Premier League. Um, and we're at home for this one. And before we uh, look at the team that's going to play against Brighton in this uh, Premier League game, uh, we're playing on Sunday. Uh, these teams have all played on Saturday. Manchester City have lost again. Inacho scoring the only goal for Leicester. And uh, Man City still languishing down in 11th. Um, but the key game that we're interested in is Manchester United have beaten Brentford by five goals to one. Um, and as a consequence, uh, gone three points clear of us uh, with our game in hand. So we need to beat Brighton. And we need to be Brighton, beat Brighton by two clear goals at least to put us back in uh, on goal difference. And uh, obviously then... Um, Anything more than that will push us up above um, with uh, it all square Southampton on 23 points. How did Southampton get on then? Uh, they won 3-0 against Everton. Chelsea, uh, they've played a game more, uh, have lost to Liverpool. Um, so they've dropped some points there as well, 21 points. Uh, Arsenal um, in fifth, they've got to play uh, in the Sunday games uh, on 20 points. Then Leicester who beat... Uh, Manchester City uh, on 20 points. Then Liverpool, who beat uh, um, Chelsea, are on 19 points. And Everton, just outside uh, the European places, also on 19 points. Right. Well, with that uh, in the know, let's go and have a look at the team that's going to play against Brighton. And this is the team that's going to face Brighton. Castile's in goal, Regillian, Romero, Sewell and Emerson Royal. We're resting up in Meccano. He is actually on the beach, on the bench, or not on the beach. Well, he might be on the beach. Um, he's on the bench, but uh, we will only use him if we really, really need to. Um, Lacalso and Dembele in midfield. Son, Silva and Lucas Mora are attacking midfield. Over Abraham up front as a uh, advanced forward. Kane is on the bench. He's, he's still very iffy. 
Um, Latula, Apamagano, Sanchez, Tanganga, Mahel, Bergwin, Kane, Hodgeberg and Halley all on the bench. And in one other bit of news, we have a transfer um, going on the board or actually in the process of trying to bring in Jamel Mazulia from uh, Bayern Munich. Um, £84 million. Pounds, uh, they're offering him £220 per week. I'm not negotiated this at all. Um, he is a wonder kid and uh, he can play pretty much left or right. So he's going to be good for when Son needs a bit of rest. He can also play as that advanced playmaker, which we like as well. Um, he can also play. He's unconvincing uh, up front. He can actually play down in midfield as well um, if we need him to. So he's quite versatile. He uh, He's altogether um, going to be a good buy, I think. Um, but pushes us a little bit over the wage budget. So we might have to do a bit of tinkering with that. But uh, to be honest, if, um, if, hang on a minute, if uh, Davidson, uh, Davidson, what's his face? He's on the bench, isn't he? Davidson Sanchez is uh, actually goes, he's on 65,000 a week. So that'll pretty much balance the books um, if he was to leave in the transfer window. So we'll see what happens through that right with any more to do let's go through to the first half and here we are at the tottenham stadium hotspur stadium and we are underway brighton we've beaten the last couple of times we've played them we did have a bit of a uh, bit of bad history with them before that but uh seem just lately seem to have been doing all right but it's uh, been a bit of a lackluster we've got a little bit of jet lag i think Emerson Royal with a long throw, and it is a long throw. Look, also in the area, try to get that around, but it's uh, hit the defender, gone out for a corner. Look, also with the corner, swings it in. Oh, and uh, counter attack on Lampete. Emerson Royal going out to stop him from coming in, as she's managed to do. Martial. Cut off by Regillian and tidied up. Saul with a free kick just inside our half. Dembele through to Andre Silva, who's still playing as that advanced playmaker. Regillian now on the ball. Gone right away along the line, crosses it in hard and fast, but defender was equal to it. And uh, they've been defending well. Look, Kelso cutting that ball out, though. The uh, header back, Romero. Andre Silva, Romero over the top looking for Son. Oh dear. That, uh, yeah, it did look as if it crossed the line. But again, I will, uh, I'm not going to go on my soapbox about uh, that particular thing because it just annoys me that we don't actually see whether it's crossed the line or not. I don't think it had completely crossed the line. Emerson Royal with the throw into Dembele. Back to Sewell. We do have depth in our defensive line. Dembele looking for Abraham and heads it to Lacelso. But the defender nicked it off his feet and they try and build again from the back. Sewell heads it down to Dembele, who holds the ball up. Lucas Mora. Inside to Silva and a return to Mora. Mora's going to cross this. Look, Elso just stood there waiting for it. Seventh goal of the season. And after 41 minutes, we are one up. Lovely. One, two with Lucas Mora. Lucas Mora then finds Look, Elso. I think they were busy watching Abraham, to be fair. And half time comes. We, uh, Brighton, have had no shots, nothing on target. 47% possession. So we've not had a lot of the possession, to be fair. Um, we've had 14 shots, but only three on target. So we're not hitting that target quite as much as we would normally expect to. No changes at half time. I've done like, a little bit of tweaking to the. To the uh, To the tactic, nothing major. Silver and Abraham, slightly different uh, 
rolls. I think uh, Silva has gone just to an attacking midfield player, and uh, Abraham has gone to a deep lying player, a uh, deep lying striker. And that's gone out wide to Lucas Mora. Lucas Mora into Abraham. There you go. A little bit deeper instead of that uh, advanced forward. And the ball placed nicely for him. Two up after 64. Sometimes just small tweaks if you're a football manager and you're not having the usual sort of things. Small tweaks. Nothing major because, if uh, if again, if it doesn't work, you can you know what you're doing. If you do lots of changes, you're not quite sure what's not gone right what's gone right what's gone wrong lots of tired legs out there so we're going to get to the 70 75 minutes and we will do that change brighton having a much better second half eight shots and five on target in this half uh, we've only had 19 and six today so they've definitely got themselves back in and uh, putting up a bit of a fight now uh, but uh, with 75 on the clock it is time to have a look at some changes very tired legs out there the uh Vienna trip has sort of had its uh, effect and um, I think as a consequence of that. Um, right, Deli Ali's going to come on for Silva. That's our first change. Um, I'm going to leave Tammy Abraham out here for me. Okay, Lakelso uh, is going to be swapped by Hodgeberg. Ali, we're going to turn back into advanced playmaker. Or is he better? No, he's better as, as a... Um, so we'll do that for the minute. Lucas Mora. Put him on as an uh, inverted winger. Right, we'll leave it. Just do those two changes for the moment. Just in case you pick up an injury somewhere. Lamperty with a throw in, Martial, and well tackled by Regillian Son, who's been tackled back and given the ball away, but uh, Emerson Royals there heads it to Castiles, and we'll start to build from the back again, Romero, Saul, back to Romero, back to Castiles, who launches one looking for Lucas Mora, finds him, tucks it inside to Abraham, back to Lucas Mora, and the attack is on. Inside to Abraham, but didn't um, quite meet it there. The uh, telegraphed, I think. Romero. Oh, and he's given it away to Ustergaard. And Martial is in, and they've got one back. Anthony Martial, his sixth goal of the season. And we need to be very careful now. Otherwise, they could punish us. That was very, very slack. I think it was Saul that gave the ball away. And as I said, they have come back into this in the second half. And uh, we'll probably need to do our final changes. Dembele, um, is it Holzberg that goes back into there better than Dembele? Ali can go down there. And I think what we do, tired legs. Very tired. He's more tired than everybody else, though. Um, hmm, six ones and half a dozen the other. I'm thinking we ought to do a defensive. Um, Shevet Tanganga can come on for a run out at the back there. He's pleased to get a run out, and we've gone to a more defensive formation. We have a free kick. Hodgeberg with the free kick. It's headed in, and a goal. Joseph, Josephette Tanganga. He's not on very often. He's come on, and he scored to make it look a bit more easier. Goalkeeper got to it. Oh, couldn't, uh, couldn't hang on to it. 
and in the back of the net it went. 3-1 win. Very lucky there, I think. Uh, two clear goals was what we wanted. Two clear goals is what we've got. Um, how does that uh, set us up yeah, on the table? Let's just have a look at 24 uh, shots. For, uh, nine on target, 1.91. They had nine shots, six on target. Uh, one and exactly 50% possession. So they definitely give us a bit of a run for our money today. Let's have a look at the table. Well, the other results and the table. First of all, the results, Crystal Palace beating Arsenal 1-0, which is good for us because uh, that means that we've got an eight-point gap on them now. Uh, obviously, our game against Brighton. West Ham beating Bournemouth two goals to nil. Uh, West Ham in ninth place. Um but it does mean that by only scoring two goals, we have dropped down to second place. All square, played the same amount of games, got the same amount of points, got the same goal difference. So it's a case of tracking our way in. We need to keep winning. Um, that is what we need to do. Southampton now five points behind us in third place um, on 23. And then Chelsea are fourth. But they've played a game more than the rest of us and are currently on 21 points. So if we win that game in hand over them, we'll be 10 points clear of Chelsea down in fourth place. So it is really uh, between the top three, and I would suggest probably between us and Manchester United. I don't want to. It's a bit early in the season, I know. We've only played 11 games, and there's a long, long way to go. Yes. Well, actually, I didn't mean to do that. I really didn't mean to do that. I'm going to drop back, drop back to this screen. Then I will come back to that one. I was a bit advanced on myself because what we actually need to do is actually have a look at uh, the next episode coming up. We're going to play Newcastle offline. Uh, Stephen Gerrard, as I said, has joined Newcastle and uh, we'll be coming back for Young Boys. Um, the fifth game in the Group G of the Europa League. And then uh, at home to board two home games against Young Boys and against Bournemouth. So can we round up the group? Well, not round it up, but uh, really will uh, cement our qualification uh, in the top slot if we can win that one. And uh, obviously a win against Bournemouth. Newcastle currently 17th. Bournemouth currently 14th. And then we play Brentford who are 16th. Chelsea who are 4th. So uh, I would say if we can do the Newcastle Bournemouth and Brentford and see how Manchester United get on in their three games that are alongside it, then we'll see where we're going to. So, uh, hmm. right, we'll go back to that screen and say thank you very much for watching. And I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, don't forget to leave me that big thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification button. Keeps you up to date with all future episodes of this and our other series um, from the bottom to the top and any new series that we might release. Albeit, I'm not sure whether we will do before... Uh, FM23 comes out. Uh, new episodes of Making Tottenham Hotspurs again are currently released every Tuesday and Friday at 4.15pm. And if you want to keep up to date with what's happening on this channel and more, you need to follow me on Twitter at Just Offside 2. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you for the next episode. It'll be episode 44 and it's out on Tuesday. Until then, it's a very goodbye.